Definition. It is a specialized dense connective tissue which is made up of osteocytes. General features. It is derived from embryonic mesenchyme. It is highly vascular. It consists of organic materials as well as inorganic elements mainly calcium, phosphorus, magnesium and iron. The bone cells are known as osteocytes. Immature bone cells are known as osteoblast. The bone is covered or lined by periosteum. There are two main properties of bone, tenacity and resilience. Tenacity to withstand the power of stress and strain. Resilience, flexibility or coming back to normal after strain. Sense of bones. There are three types of cells, osteoblast, osteocyte and osteoclast. Osteoblast, they are derived from osteoprogenita cells located in the mesenchyme, periosteum and endosteum. They play an important role in synthesis and mineralization of bone during bone formation and bone remodeling. Osteocyte. They are matured bone cells present in a space known as lacna. They are derived from osteoblast. They secrete a protein called Sclerostin. Increased secretion of sclerostin inhibits the activity of osteoblast and stimulates the activity of osteoclast. Osteoclast. They are derived from red bone marrow. Functions of bone. They form the skeletal framework of the body. They give attachment for tendon, muscle, fascia and ligaments. They protect important organs like brain, lungs and heart. It is an important hemopoietic center. It is a storage center for calcium.
कंडीशन ऑफ बोन्स बोन्स में भी क्लासिफाइड अकॉर्डिंग टू शेप अकॉर्डिंग टू स्ट्रक्चर एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू डेवलपमेंट और ऑसिफिकेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू शेप द बोन्स आर क्लासिफाइड इन टू लॉन्ग बोन शॉर्ट बोन फ्लैट बोन इरेगुलर बोन निमैटिक बोन सेसमॉइड बोन एंड आसेसरी बोन लॉन्ग बोन they consist of two ends and a shaft okay they are usually present in the limbs example humerus radius ulna femur tibia and fibula short long bones example metacarpals and metatarsal bones including phalanges short bone okay they are small cuboidal in shape and it has six surfaces example carpal bones and tarsal bones flat bones they are present in the skull example frontal parietal occipital bones irregular bone okay example vertebra some of the skull bones temporal bone sphenoid Innominate bone or hip bone, pneumatic bone. This bone contains air cavities or air filled space in the bones. Example: frontal, ethmoidal, sphenoidal, and maxillary bone. Sesamoid bone. These bones are covered or enclosed by muscle. tendon or ligaments example patella fibula fusiform bone accessory bones they are usually absent okay in rare conditions it is present okay they are developed due to non fusion of secondary ossification centers okay for example vermian bone present in the sutures os trigonum os navicula according to structure the bones may be classified according to structure into compact bone and spongy or cancellous bone compact bone in case of long bones they are present in the shaft it is very hard and shiny part of the bone whereas the cancellous bones are present in the ends of the long bones in case of flat bones the cancellous or spongy bone is present in the middle layer which is sandwiched between the two com layers of compact bone plates according to development the bones may be classified into membranous bone and cartilaginous bone membranous bone example skull bones frontal parietal occipital cartilaginous bone example the bones of the limbs especially long bones humerus radius ulna femur tibia fibula there is another type membrano cartilaginous bone example mandible sphenoid occipital and clavicle even though clavicle is a long bone which should be developed by cartilaginous ossification okay it develops by membranous ossification and it has absence of medullary cavity